Veronica Burns loves to doodle. People in my family love to draw too, so it was a way that like we all sort of communicated with each other. She also loves chemistry. Her doctoral thesis at the University of Wisconsin was about quasicrystals. So we took the output of these density functional theory calculations and turned them into these visualizable pressures that we could uh, use to link the simple calcium copper five type to the um, more complicated psi type quasicrystal. She knew her family and friends wouldn't be able to understand that. And it's something that, you know, I worked really hard on and I wanted to be able to, to share it with them and, and to share with them like how excited I was about it. So she decided to combine her two loves into a comic book. That's part of the uh, silly things to make people laugh, that they're all me dressing up weird throughout the book. She drew the 50 pages over eight months while finishing her written thesis. Her chemistry professor said he was impressed with it. How would you communicate this to someone that doesn't do science? Well, it's this, <laughs> right? This is it. The comic book ended up as the last chapter of her thesis. She kept it a secret from her parents until after it was finished. They, they thought it was really cool. She also thought others might find it cool. So she went to Kickstarter and raised over $14,000, more than twice as much as she asked for. She says schools are already interested in it. It's really important, like now more than ever, to talk about uh, science in, a, in an accessible way. Turns out quasi-crystals break the ordered and organized rules of crystals, just like Veronica Burns did with her thesis. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.